Hello, this is Arico Sustainable School. The main objective of creating this school is to achieve the goals of 2030 Agenda of Sustainability, which initiate a sustainable development for our planet's future. The 2030 Agenda will allow us to construct a more eco-friendly society with the ecosystem. The main problem to the current climate crisis is waste, because instead of recycling and reusing, we are used to the opposite, which produces more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We are now going to present our school and explain how we can help life on Earth to be more sustainable and eco-friendly. Firstly, our pony has electric chargers for cars. This helps to waste less gasoline, which eventually creates an unhealthy environment for humans to live in. It deteriorates the oxygen for all living creatures on Earth. We have created a chill-out zone which is full of nature. It is an area of the school in which the environment is especially healthy and good for students' health. In the diamond buildings, we can see that we have added vertical gardens to observe the noise and increased green areas in the school. At the top, we have a rainwater recollector which regulates and provides water for the whole school. This system also filters every single drop of water that comes in and removes any impurities that the water may have. Next to the buildings, in the outside area, we have some recycling bins which are going to help reduce, reuse and recycle of the possible rubbish that the school can generate. We have added four different recycling bins for plastic, glass, cardboard and organic material. Something we have to do to help the world be more eco-friendly is that we should start using the circular mode of economy. Because the linear one means that you just throw away your waste and it regenerates. But if you start using the circular one, your waste becomes resources. Next to the bins, we have added a composter, which is going to help turn every fruit waste from the school commuter into ecologic compost for all the plants and gardens in the school. On top of the circular buildings, we have some plants which are watered with the system of filtration of the school and are grown with the compost generated from the composter. On the two smaller buildings and the main one, we have some solar panels which will conduct and provide electricity for the school. Their use is getting the sunlight and turning it into an electricity current. There is a small orchard with fruits and vegetables for the canteen, which is planted with the compost generated and also watered by the water filtrations. This also helps the school by avoiding transport from far away and producing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. We have some windmills which are going to provide clean energy source. <laughs> Lastly, we have a small lake which provides more water filtration for the school.